Hey, this is a really quick video as a sort of an addendum to the Q&A stream I did. Um, sort of especially a remedy against what happened in the later half where things went wrong. Um, the fix for getting Leaf to work correctly was actually one singular line and the problems occurred because the scene was get up, get, uh, getting set up twice so there were duplicates of all the objects around meaning duplicates of all the cameras and stuff like that and that caused some problems so with that fix in now you can uh, load leaf and then run it and it should work just fine so once you launch leaf you get a sort of empty screen and you die repeatedly but by pressing the section or uh, carrot or whatever the upper the key in the top left of your keyboard below the F row By pressing that you enter editor mode and then with WSD or whatever you can move around with control scroll you can zoom out or zoom in and then you see things outside of this rectangle here are black this rectangle here represents a chunk a chunk is a, an area of usable or an area of things so within that area can exist if you fall outside of it you die now by clicking on an object like the player I can start interacting it by holding alt and dragging I can drag the player around by tapping pressing tab I can select a new entity so I can switch to a chunk which automatically enters chunk editor mode so in the standard I can place solid ground so we can like build a quick level here if we want to show off how this stuff works like this maybe something like that maybe like a thing here okay switch to the player move the player over here there we go now, by pressing the number keys 1, 2, 3, and 4, you can switch the different layers of a chunk. So 1 is the solids, which are invisible, 2 is the first layer, 3 is the second layer, and 4 is the third layer. And each have different tiles that you can uh, select and place. And you can also switch the tiles through by either clicking below or scrolling through with the mouse wheel which allows pretty quick editing of things. Not as quick as I would like. I would like it to like automatically fill shapes of stuff you've outlined with a solid, but currently that's not a thing that you can do because it requires a bit more intelligent code than I have at the moment. But that's a thing that I might add in the future just to make this stuff less painful. There we go, and we're good. What it does have is bucket fill, so if I control click in an area, it'll bucket fill that area. Not sure how, it, how well it shows in the recording, but nevertheless. Let's also put some spikes around. Spikes. And then mark them up. Here we go. Now if I press, if I scroll in again, zoom in again, press carrot again, I'm back in player mode. Now I can actually move around. And as you can see, the camera will actually snap to, to the chunk you have. So if you try to, you can't see things outside of the chunk by default. So it's always advisable to add a wall there. There we go. That looks better. And I died. Great. Respawn points currently are sort of determined by a heuristic, I think. Or they're just set to some coordinate. I don't remember. But that's a thing that should be changed. Right. So you can do that. All that fun stuff. Yeah. 
Now what you can also do in the editor is you can add more stuff by pressing insert. I can say chunk, I'll give it a name test, and location is fine, B size is fine, size is fine, task set needs to be something like leaf. Uh, facility I think it is. This. And leaf facility background. Right, so now I have a new chunk, which I can place wherever I want. Let's place that here maybe. And by pressing F5, I can resize the junk. Let me see, F5, make this a sort of a narrowish corridor like that. And I can start editing this, just like the previous chunk. Maybe do something like this. And then a thing like this. Maybe. I don't know, so probably, eh, actually it was a bit more interesting like this. Anyway, I'm just hacking things out, let's put a bunch of spikes around here. Uh, I'm sure someone who's better at level design or what could make things that are actually interesting. But this is, anyway, just a demonstration of the editor capabilities that Leaf has for authoring things. So we can also pick different kinds of ground. Um, yeah, reason I haven't, oh fuck, reason I haven't really shown this off yet is because of this. We, uh, where I don't really know what to say while I'm building this and it's sort of slowish, sluggish, but yeah, if you have interest, Leaf and the trial dependencies are publicly available, so you can just grab them off the net and do whatever you want with them. If you're actually interested in helping me finish this game, then I suggest you come to the IRC channel, uh, Shirakumo, hash Shirakumo on the free node and talk to me there, and we can work something out. So, this is something like this. Yep. I also really need a line tool, that will help a lot. Okay. Just fill this out. There we go. Let's also place some extra shit, I don't know. Uh, light bulbs, why not? There we go. Fantastic. Now, if I scroll back in, if I switch over, it automatically detects if there's a chunk nearby and then switches to that chunk. The default chunk size is actually adjusted so that it feel, fills the screen exactly. So you should always make sure that your chunk size doesn't get any lower than that, because otherwise the screen is going to get black. And you don't really want to that, see that. There we go. Well, we can also do this and die. Fantastic. So yeah, that's that. That's Leaf, or what's existing of it right now. Obviously, still a lot left to do, but yeah. This is the stuff that is there at the moment. There's also things like uh, items that you can place, but there's not really anything you can interact with the items at the moment, so I'll reserve that for a future stream. But yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to show on the Q&A. And since I fucked up and introduced a regression, I couldn't. But hopefully this will be a good substitute for that. Alright, see you again another time.